Good day, it's Captain Energy here. Today, I've got something interesting for you guys. One of my subscribers sent me a message requesting information if there was any way to extract the sounds from Reason's uh, refills to use in another application. Now, um, the application specifically that he wants to use these with is called Backbone from Steinberg Software, which I happen to own a copy of, so I figured I'd give this a, a whirl. Um, I did try to extract the sounds directly from the library, the refill. However, um, at least the WAV files and the REX files I figured would come out, but they don't. Um, I looked around to see if there was software that would work to do that. And uh, the software that exists to do that seems a little sketchy. I probably wouldn't recommend downloading it or installing it on your machine. I mean, I don't want anyone to get a virus. So please don't try and mess with that. Also, as far as the license goes, um, you're not allowed to just rip them out of the uh, the refill and just take all the sounds and go because, I mean, that would make, you know, somebody could easily redistribute that as a, you know, their own work, which it wouldn't be. But, you know, you could easily do that uh, if you had such a technology and the uh, refill packages are pretty uh, tight on security. So... I personally would just go with this method. I've got something, a way to do this legally, and it's pretty cool as far as it lets you, you know, I mean, also, what are you going to do if you pull like 10 million sounds out of here? I mean, there's not 10 million, but even a couple thousand. If you pulled a thousand sounds, now you got to go through all those sounds, and you just got a giant jumbled mass of data. It's easier to go through them right here in Reason and uh, give them a listen. Just click them, and it will play them. You can hear those. See? And then you can pick the sound you actually want. Uh, since it's Halloween month here, um, I'm going to take this one. It's called Demonic Mocking. I thought it was interesting, and I was like, not that I'm into uh, any of that, but I mean, I just thought it was kind of very Halloween-y, you know what I mean? Uh, so I'm going to drag this in here, drop it on one of my tracks here, uh, if you don't have a track made, just so you know, if I just drag this into nowhere, it will make a track because, you know, reason's smart like that. Um, but regardless, there's my sound. Okay. Now, if I right click that sound and I go up here to bounce, I can tell it to bounce that clip to a disc or to disc rather. I'm going to tell it to put that inside this folder right here, this BB for backbone. And uh, I'll leave it as it is. We'll just leave it as uh, FX BFX3 demonic mocking dot wave. Boom. Hit save. Now, I'm going to minimize reason. Oh, sorry. Forgot to. Now, when it shows you the sample rate, just click OK. This is fine. 16 bit, 44 kilohertz. That's basically, you know, standard. Click this minimize, boom, and right in the background here, as you can see, I have already got Cubase set up. I've got a, uh, a backbone sampler right here, and uh, or backbone instrument, I should say. It's really not just a sampler. And I'm already in the folder here, so I can drag it right out. Now, just so you know, uh, backbone, I think, has a little bug. I'm going to call or email Steinberg about it, but... Uh, if I go here and to open up a file, click plus, it usually takes you right here and you pick your sound and it loads it. Well, since I wanted to get it from the file system, I clicked file system. I pick drive F. And then I go to BB. And you'll notice nothing shows up down here. Um, I don't know why. Theoretically, what should happen is I should get a list of files that I can open up, but they never pop open. So since that's a bust, uh, that might work on a Mac, by the way. This is a PC. I'm not sure what the trouble is there, but I'm going to let somebody know at Steinberg. Fortunately, we have drag and drop technology. So I'm just going to go right here okay, to my, I'm in a file explorer or in a Mac, you would use Finder. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to bring it over here to Cubase. See, my, my instrument disappears for a second, but it comes right back when I hover over it. And I'm going to drop it in the first slot. And now, there it is. My first layer of my backbone sound. And that's it. Um, 
And from here, you can do whatever you want with it. You've got your all your little backbone type things you might do. I'm not going to get in backbone. That would be uh, a lot more than I am trying to do for this video. I'm just trying to get out a quick idea for you guys. As far as the sounds of uh, synthesizers, there's no way to uh, extract those as just a sound other than to uh, go back and reason, okay, and literally play them. So if I drop this, I'll uh, drop a uh, subtractor here. All right, and if I go in here, I'll throw in a couple of notes. We'll go, doesn't matter what they are. And now we'll go back out. If I right click that and I tell it to bounce in place, I will end up with this, this wave file right here. Okay, now this file, I can do the same thing. I just go over here, bounce, bounce clip to disk. And we'll just leave that as this is a bass guitar bounced. Perfect. That's fine. I just want this for a demo real quick. This wasn't even part of the, the uh, tutorial. I'm just uh, trying to get this in here for you. Click OK. So now it's out. And now we go back over to Cubase again. There we go. And here we are. Now I can take this and just drag this. The bass guitar bounced. Boom. Mm -hmm. And now it's a second layer to the same instrument. But that's it. There's no way to uh, grab synthesizer sounds out because they're all actual synths that have to be played to make sound. Uh, the samples can come out individually one by one. If you want to take out an entire Rex loop, that is possible by just dragging it into an audio track and exporting it. Or you can grab an individual hit from a Rex loop same way. And that's all I got for you guys. I really hope that that was helpful to somebody. Um, and uh, if you have any additional questions, please leave them for me in the comments below. I would love to try and help you out as much as I can. In the meantime, if you enjoyed the video and you found it useful, please click the like. Give me a little thumbs up. Um, I would really appreciate it. And I would appreciate it even more if you subscribe to the channel. I'm really trying to get this uh, channel up there and I'd like to get to 100 users, um, or subscribers rather, because that's where YouTube will allow me to customize my URL, which would be awesome if I can get my own URL. Uh, and uh, I would love to grow the channel from there. So please let your friends know um, and help me grow the channel. I really appreciate your support. I really appreciate you guys coming to the channel. And uh, I, I'd really like to get some feedback uh, so I know what you want from me. And uh, if I'm doing a good job or if I'm missing the mark completely, I would like to know also. Anyway, have an awesome day. Enjoy this trick and go make some music. Take care. See you guys in the next one.